Mr. Mr. McKenzie, if I can just intervene there. I mean, you, I'm interested that you describe an 11% pay claim, which I'm quite sure the RMT would be prepared to negotiate on, by the way, an 11% pay claim as absurd. This is the politics of envy, isn't it? And I'm quite surprised to hear that kind of line from you because I understood that you were very much a free marketeer. I thought you were a Thatcherite. I thought you were in favour of people using whatever abilities they had in the marketplace to be able to no negotiate what they're worth. So my question to you is why is it acceptable well, for worth? rich people? If you well, let me finish the question, why is it acceptable for rich people and people at the top to be able to negotiate their worth? And you say, that's fine, crack on, that's what you're entitled to, that's what you deserve. But when it comes to ordinary working class people and trade unions, you say, don't give in. Let's take an authoritarian view and say, no, we're not going to allow you even to, to, to take strike action, which seems to be almost the line that you're taking. Calvin? No, I'm saying, I'm saying take strike action and, and let them get defeated. Right? I wasn't the gate, but I was hostile to the miners doing what they were doing, trying to turn the lights out. But in the end, they were defeated. And I think this is a matter. And look at the price that was paid for that. Is, look at look at the price that was pump. paid for that in terms of the the decay that set in in working class right. communities that relied argument. on the, the pit that, village. Don't I, you look at things like argument. the miners' strike and think to yourself, actually, we shouldn't really try that again. No, that's, that's rubbish. There were communities that were left to rot. I do accept that. And that was a mistake. But it wasn't a mistake. The miners wanted to kill us and wanted to turn our lights off and wanted to turn the country into some rather bizarre kind of East European regime. The, the miners, the, the miners, RMT Mr. McKenzie, the miners were fighting the, for the their RMT. jobs and their lives. Right, one, one, one at a time, chaps, Kelvin. Thing. As the, my, uh, as the miners were doing, and we must not allow it to happen. And were it to happen, and by the way, this idea that, 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 that 11% you're talking about, old man, actually comes from the taxpayer, right? That's, that's where the money is coming from. These are nationalized industries, as you well know. So I, I personally don't want to pay any more taxes to fund um, the, the RMT or, it, or its employees.